What surprised you most about Iceland? I think the way they use geothermal power. Yeah. To power a lot of stuff. I mean, probably all the, you know, like the hot water comes from geothermal, the electricity comes from geothermal. It just seemed that uh, they managed to pipe geothermal stuff all over the island. Yeah, yeah. Um, to me, it was amazing that like they really did it. A hundred percent of their electricity comes from renewable resources. All right, Teddy, what were you saying? You might puke. The facility smelled great inside and was gorgeous. I mentioned in my first Reykjavik video, one of Iceland's main draws for me is its geothermal activity, so I was super excited to be here. These maps show some of the best areas for harnessing geothermal activity. High temperature fields, therefore, represents an unlimited, self-sustaining resource for a clean, living Earth. Iceland sits on two tectonic plates, Eurasia and North America. There's an unconnected mantle plume underneath Iceland as well. The plant provides both electricity and hot water, which warms buildings and is also used under the streets to melt snow. This wall shows how things work. I've got a more detailed video linked to show how the process all comes together. Iceland used to be one of the poorest countries in Europe, but after tapping into the geothermal energy source, they're now one of the most financially secure, with their major export being aluminum, an energy-heavy process, and now Bitcoin mining. Somebody turn up the damn thermostat! These are steam water separators. They use simple physics, and more about them is also linked in a separate video person to be down there for like perspective like these are so big these are huge very huge this is the low power side the low pressure Internet cables are this big as well. They're even bigger. <laughs> and they'll run alongside, probably. At the exhibition, you can rotate the wheels to go through the production process. The Helishidi Power Station is part of a larger geothermal park that has a lot going on. There are areas for hiking as well as spaces for entrepreneurs, businesses, scientists to do more cool, hopefully, you know, climate helping stuff. Currently, they have a project going called Carb Fix. Iceland has lots of awesome basalt rocks for carbon sequestering. The Helishidi power plant specifically has been injecting hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide back into the rock since 2014. 95% of injected gas is carbonized within two years and the carb fix process can work worldwide because 5% of the earth's crust, which is more than enough, has basalt rock appropriate for the process. What a nice touch. I'm a big fan of rocks, so I was pretty excited to see all the display cases with the different kinds of rocks 
that are involved in the different plant processes and throughout Iceland. Some of the rocks you're seeing here are common amygdalas such as quartz, opal, jasper, and chalcedony. They are silica amygdalas, which I've drawn in another video. We're also seeing carbonites like calcite and Iceland spur. Calcite is created after carbon dioxide is injected into bedrock. Injected hydrogen sulfide becomes pyrite. I found the exhibit fascinating, but a lot to take in and understand. So I hope this video makes understanding a bit easier for you all. Thanks for joining me today on this tour of technologies that could help turn carbon levels around. No, you cannot. You cannot. No, because you would boil to death, but like... <laughs> yeah, that whole boiling to death thing is kind of inconvenient. Oh my gosh, it's so warm. Oh, it's so smelly. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, have you noticed the cold water is in